Learn with Eddie. Hello, Eddie. <laughs> Dressed like that, you look like you are about to go on a space mission. <laughs> Wait a minute. Do you really want to go to space? <laughs> ah, I see. You want to visit Mr. Sun? <laughs> but you can only get as close to Mr. Sun as he wants. Uh -huh. Because it is a very big and hot star. Uh -huh. <laughs> I'll explain it to you. <laughs> the universe is really, really big, and it's full of millions of galaxies. <laughs> Ours is the Milky Way, oh. which also contains millions of stars, and the sun is one of them. <laughs> planets can go around the stars, <laughs> and satellites go around planets, just as the moon does, which is the furthest we can go. <laughs> Uh-oh, why am I giving him ideas? Wow! <laughs> you were really serious about going to space. <laughs> <laughs> At least wear your helmet. We don't want to have any accidents. <laughs> Wait a minute. Isn't there a countdown? <laughs> Whoa! <laughs> oh, wow. We went up fast. What are you doing? <laughs> wow! <laughs> Be careful, Eddie. So cool. We'll be able to see the planets a lot better from here. Hey, where are you going? <laughs> wow, of course, you are floating because there is no gravity in space. <laughs> wow. Look, this planet is Mercury. It's the smallest of all, and its temperature is really high because it's very close to the sun. Venus is also hot, and what's curious about it is that it spins in the opposite direction. The Earth is the only planet that's inhabited. And this one over here, the red one, it's called Mars. Jupiter is the biggest and oldest planet of all. On the other hand, Saturn is famous because of its rings. Uranus is made of gas, and it's so cold that it can reach 245 degrees below zero. Neptune is the furthest planet to the sun, and it gets its name from the god of the sea because of its blue color. All these planets go around the sun, the one that gives them light and heat. Uh -huh. Isn't it amazing? <laughs> Imagine how many things there might be around in the universe if there are millions of suns with their planets spinning around them. Uh -huh. <laughs> we should probably head back home. It's been enough for today. <laughs> Let's see, what do we need to go back? <laughs> Don't tell me you know how to go back. <laughs> Phew, thank goodness. <laughs> <laughs> Phew, what an over the moon. <laughs> Do you get it? Over the moon. <laughs> Hi, Eddie. <laughs> what are you doing? <laughs> oh, you're looking at the planets in the universe, huh? Would you like to learn a little bit more about them? Oh. Come on then, let's go on a little trip. <laughs> and what about you guys? Do you know any planets or stars? You can tell us in the comments and help Eddie in his adventure. But first, you have to dress for the occasion, Eddie. Can you guess what we're going to dress you up as today? That's it, Eddie. We're going to dress you up as an astronaut. Let's see what's in your wardrobe. Let's begin with your feet. What kind of footwear should we put on? <laughs> I know that flip-flops are really comfy, but you can't wear those on a spaceship. You might trip. <laughs> These boots will be much safer. Okay, what else? What shoe do you wear on the rest of your body? Are you sure? It's really cold in the space, you know. You'll need a warm suit up there. That's it, Eddie. The suit will keep you warm in space. Isn't it comfortable? Let's see what else we have here. Perfect. What do you need for your head, Eddie? Well done. Thanks to this astronaut helmet, you will be able to breathe in space because it keeps oxygen inside. And for your hands. <laughs> Eddie, those princess gloves could look great on you. But don't you think it's better to wear prototype gloves? <laughs> That's it, Eddie. The astronaut gloves. 
And now let's see the complete suit. Wow, Eddie, you look amazing. You're ready to go to infinity and beyond. Commander Eddie, the rocket is ready. Go to the launching pad. <laughs> what are you waiting for, Eddie? Get on. Ready for ignition? <laughs> I mean you're ready for takeoff. <laughs> Here we go. What planet do you think Eddie will visit? What a great idea you had of camping out in the garden, Eddie. <laughs> I'm usually quite scared of the dark, but I'm having a great time today. <laughs> do you guys want to camp out with Eddie? There's plenty of room in the tent, and we can play lots of camping games. <laughs> if you know of any, let us know in the comments. For example, we can search for constellations in the night sky. Uh -huh. You don't know what constellations are, Eddie. E? They're groups of nearby stars that we can connect with each other to form shapes. <laughs> You're not too sure, huh? Look! Oh. These stars here form the Big Dipper, the uh -huh. biggest constellation we know. It's also called the Ladle because, see, if we connect the dots, <laughs> it forms a ladle. <laughs> there are many like this one, and when you know of all of them, you can search them out. For example, this one here. Oh. It's the Orion constellation, although it's also known as the Hunter, see? Mm. Because if you connect the dots, it looks like a man hunting with a bow. <laughs> Isn't it curious? <laughs> what was that noise? Don't get scared, but I think there's a wild animal around us. <laughs> it's your stomach. What's up? Are you very hungry? <laughs> what could we have? I've got it. How about we use the bonfire to prepare marshmallows? <laughs> You're going to love the recipe because it's also got chocolate. Plus, it's really easy. We need marshmallows, biscuits, chocolate, and a stick like this one. Hold on carefully and don't get too close. We need it for heating up the mallow without getting burnt. Now hold it over the fire until it starts to roast. Oh. <laughs> when it's ready, we'll make a mini sandwich with two biscuits and a piece of chocolate. <laughs> like this one. And we'll put the mallow in the middle. Look, Eddie. It's still oh. warm, so it makes the chocolate melt. <laughs> You're eager to try it, right? <laughs> I won't make you wait any longer. And, do you like it? <laughs> Great! Because we've got a whole bag of marshmallows. <laughs> so, let's heat up some more. I also want to try one. <laughs> and meanwhile, let's go through the camping games down in the comments. <laughs> what have you suggested, guys? Hi, Eddie. <laughs> Would you look at that astronaut suit? <laughs> I can see you're ready for today's video. <laughs> Today, we're going to space to learn what color the planets of the solar system are. <laughs> Check out how many there are, Eddie. Do you know them all? <laughs> Don't worry, we'll reveal them now. Commander Ready, you will command the ship. And what about you guys? Do you know all the planets? Which one is your favorite? You can tell us in the comments. <laughs> Let's start with the one closest to the sun. Mercury! Its surface is very similar to the moon's, full of rocks and uh -huh. craters. What color should we use for it, Eddie? That's it, Eddie! It's gray! Just like rocks and our moon. Next up is Venus. Venus is also very rocky, but its atmosphere contains lots of sulfur. Do you know what sulfur is, Eddie? It's a yellow chemical element that is very toxic and dangerous. Uh -huh. So, what color is Venus then? Well done, Eddie! 
Venus is yellow, just like sulfur. The next one is easy, it's the Earth. Exactly! The Earth is green because of the continents and blue because of the oceans. You knew that one, huh? <laughs> and what about the next one? Mars! Wow, Eddie! You guessed it! You must have heard the phrase the red planet before. That's because Mars' surface is a huge desert made of reddish sand. Next up are the bigger planets, Jupiter and Saturn. Their atmospheres are a mix of several gases and elements. So we'll use several colors. The color yellow, like used for Venus, for example. Or the color red, like we use for Mars, which is really close. Of course, Eddie, brown will go great too. But in Saturn's case, there are also these cool rings around it. Did you know that they have frozen water particles? That's right, Teddy! If they have frozen water, then we can color them in blue. Great! Now there are only two left. Uranus and Neptune. They are the most distant planets. That's why they are the coldest. So much so that they are made almost entirely out of ice. Good idea, Eddie! We'll use several shades of blue to color them in. Darkways for Uranus... And Neptune! We'll use a darker shade of blue. Perfect! Here is our solar system! We're ready for launch now, Commander Ready! Bon voyage, Eddie! If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to like it <laughs> and subscribe to our channel. Ah, and you can also talk with Eddie. Send him an email at learnwitheddie at asubio.tv. <laughs> he will love it. <laughs>